Okay, so it's been about three months since my last Mac haul. <laughs> I told myself I would do it monthly if I could, but oh my god, this, I've just been, it's been such a crazy three months in the past couple of months. So since my last video, I've been through a lot. Ugh. Um, so I haven't had time to really even do videos in the first place, and this shit's just been collecting, and I want to put it all away. And I want to use it, and I want to put it in my kit. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do this video because it's been chilling on the side of my vanity for like forever, and I need to get rid of this shit. Um, so first things first, I'm going to start with some tools. Um, I purchased four new brushes. I have a couple more that I got in my gratis, but these are really the ones that I personally like went out and purchased. Um, I purchased a second 168. I already had one, um, and then I got another one just because... I really love this brush. <laughs> this is one of my favorite contour brushes, bronzer brushes, blush brushes, you name it brushes. I could do one whole complexion like cheek look with this. Like I could do bronzer, I could do contour, bronzer, blush, and highlight all with this product, all with this product, this brush, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is one of the best brushes that Matt carries in my personal opinion. It was slept on for a while and I feel like people just kind of forgot about it. Um, this is the bomb. Sorry about it. Another multi-use brush that I really, really enjoy is the 127. This is one of our split fiber brushes. So one side is synthetic and the other one is natural. Again, one of those brushes that I can use multiple ways. So I really use this for my kit. Um, I use the synthetic side to like put on moisturizer or um, any type of like serums or anything emollient, if you will, or anything liquid. And then I use the other side, obviously, for powders. I really love this for contouring, for blush, for highlight, the whole shebang. This is one of those brushes, again, like the 168 where it's very very versatile. I love the shape of the brush. It's awesome. This brush is one of those like this is everything type of brushes. Another brush that I found really intriguing was the MAC 221. I don't know if you guys remember the 222 from like way back in the day. This is like the baby version. Um, this is really good for precise like outer crease work especially someone who has smaller eyeballs and can't take a 224. This is awesome for that or if you just really need to, need to get into the corners and the 217 ain't doing it for you. This is really good at being very very precise. I love how it's not super super dense but not super super flimsy either it's just the right amount so love this brush very pleasantly surprised with how well this works um, and then I also picked up a fan brush this is one of my favorite favorite highlighting brushes this is a 184 it comes in different shapes I believe I think this is the large one then there's a medium and then a tiny one like the mascara style one I love this brush it's awesome for highlighting especially if you just need that light sort of dusting and you have like a loose pigment or like a um, more finely milled type of pigment that um, you need to want to <laughs> zhuzh across the face and you don't want like a super super intense highlight but you want it more diffused and still uh, apparent if you will this is what I usually use for my highlight these days so that's how I get it popping this is the one I picked up two brush cases for my kit because I hate taking a brush belt around nowadays. I have to be honest, as an artist, if you are doing multiple people, a brush belt is just not... I don't know. I gotta say, for me, it's not very functional. I get really irritated because I just want to grab the brush I need or I want them sort of separated so I want to be able to do like, you know, dirty and clean. I hate... I just... I don't know. The only time I use a brush belt is when I'm at work. <laughs> I used to use a brush belt when I went on gigs and stuff like that and I just I just can't anymore just it really irritates me um, and I was getting kind of tired of using like my Sigma ones and my Sedona lace ones because they're kind of heavier they're more um, you know they have that le leatherish material on the outer edge and they're a little bit more durable which I love but because of that they're kind of heavier so I wanted something a little bit more easier to carry around I got two sizes the large and the small so this one is the large clips on and then I'll show you the small one because it, it has the same it has the same mechanism on it so it looks like this when it's on and then you can like click it out or click it out and then I like that it has different heights to it so you could do super super tall like that if you have like really really long brushes I usually keep it on like the third one where it's about like that that's usually how tall my eye brushes are and then of course if you have smaller brushes you know the shorter the better whatever you can use these for pencils too which I like sometimes when I'm on gig I, I, I tend to take multiple brushes of the same brushes so multiples of the same brush wow can't talk um so I tend to like need to, you know, keep them separate between clean and dirty. And I hate having to dig into my brush belt and keep cleaning something. It's just, it's just something that I've learned as an artist that's a little bit more functional for me personally. So this was just a personal purchase of my own. But I love these if you're a makeup artist and you go on set a lot. Or if you, um, you know, you do a lot of work where like you're, you're like at a station almost. And you just need to like boom, 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 get through hella people. Um, this is super, super efficient to have. I would recommend getting brush canisters and you know brush holder things over you know 
a brush belt. That's just me personally. Or have a brush roll or something. You know what I mean? Something more functional for you. Because as an artist, having a brush belt, it was just really annoying for me to have it over my shoulder. It was hard to like function. And then like I would have to like move it over. It's just, uh, I don't know. I couldn't do it anymore. I didn't. I picked up a um, half lash curler. I love this thing. Oh my God. I went training. It was very inspired by our artist, um, Romero Jennings. If you guys aren't familiar with him on Instagram, he's Romero, Romero Jennings. He's basically our director of makeup artistry for MAC. I'm very highly inspired by this person. He is amazing. I love love watching his videos I, he's just so inspiring for me um, he taught us a couple tips and tricks with uh, mascara and things like that and he used a half lash curler over a full lash curler and it changed my life I have to be honest now I use it on every single client I only use a full lash curler if the client requests it but usually they don't I have to be honest usually clients don't prefer to curl their lashes I would say nine times out of ten they want us to do it and that's kind of a safety hazard <laughs> so this is really really safe um, for them as well and I love that you can literally get every single lash so I got two of these I got one for me and one for my kit I like this for me personally because when I use some full lash curlers I feel like it crimps the hell out of my lash on the edges my eyes are so round that if the, if the lash curler isn't round enough like a la Shuimura, then I feel like it doesn't curl all the way across very evenly, if that makes any sense. So I'll use the half lash curler and kind of inch my way across. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's like the best open eye effect ever. My clients love it all the time. A lot of them get very curious about it and they love this thing. So um, maybe I'll do a video on it. And then I also picked up a new moisturizer. This one is the Charged Water Moisture Gel. This moisturizer is the gem. If you ain't tried this yet, you need to. This moisturizer is so good. It feels amazing on the skin. Like, it feels very, um, your skin feels very quenched. You know what I mean? And your skin is, like, supple, it's glowy, it's moisturized, it's hydrated. If you have combo skin, or even if you have dry, like, it doesn't even matter what kind of skin type you have. It works for everyone. It hydrates you in all the right ways, and it doesn't make your skin oily whatsoever if you're oily. It doesn't make you too glowy or anything like that it just it's it looks so natural it's just, oh, you gotta try it just try it just try it <laughs> i didn't pick any lip liners up really this um this haul because as you can tell my last haul i had picked up like almost every single liner known to man um the only one i got replenishment on was cherry which is just a classic red um this is like that liner that you want if you wear ruby woo or anything like that it's just a really beautiful classic red shade looks good on everybody that kind of red um, so I picked up a new one of that because I needed I needed a new one for my Raiderette photo shoot. I also picked up, for the Raiderette photo shoot, <laughs> I also picked up um, the Pro Longwear lip color in uh, Lasting Lust, I think is what it's called. This is a really beautiful classic red, especially if you do a lot of bridal work or a lot of photo work or just work in general that requires a really long wearing type of red lipstick and you just need that good classic red that works on everybody this is one of them's you could also use ruby woo i kind of go in between the two but this one just it just lasts like literally your hair could blow on it and it doesn't move it's just it's awesome i also picked up a couple of lip mixes from pro i picked up a lot of colors from pro so i'll go through that too um this one is the i think the light nude mid-tone nude yeah mid-tone nude and then deep tone nude Sometimes when I'm doing bridal work or when I'm doing gigs at all and they want that nude lip, it's it's honestly super, super inconvenient to have like 5,000 nudes. It's like the most annoying thing in the world. So I usually have a bunch of lip mixes now just to make it really easy on myself. Like if I need to create a pink, I obviously have red and white and then I have some of the nudes so you can mix them all. If you guys want a video on how to use these, just let me know. I have quite a few of them and I would love to show you a video on how to use them. But these are awesome, so I picked up the deep tone nude and the mid tone nude. I didn't get the light one because it looked like concealer pretty much, um, and I would just really use a white to like kind of lighten these, so I didn't get the light one. But these alone are so beautiful, like, oh my god. So when you mix the two, it's like the perfect nude. It's just so good. So I love using lip mixes because I know that they last, they're like fashion show status. Um, so I really enjoy using those as an artist. I personally like that. Anything in my kit now that's easy to consolidate, I would rather have. I hate, hate taking a ton of products now. It's so annoying. So I tend to grab things that will work on every skin tone or I focus on the skin tone that I'm working with. But ideally, I'm trying to build my kit to be more uh, catered to like literally every skin tone you could possibly think of. So I have a lot of things that are consolidated now because there's nothing more that I hate than carrying a shit ton of stuff to your gig and then like having to lug it all back and clean it all up and then wondering if you lost something because I can't count how many times I have lost stuff. I feel like I have to mark everything and that's just it's just too hard. Never mind. 
Oh, I picked up some backups of Viva Glam 5 lip gloss. I didn't pick up any other lip gloss except this one this month or this past couple months. Um, this one is Viva Glam 5. For those of you who love this color, and let me tell you, it's one of the most perfect nudes that Matt carries. I'm pissed off that they're discontinuing it. What can you do? Um, so for those of you who want to pick it up, pick it up now because my store is already sold out and I think a couple other stores in my area are already sold out. So if you want this, you better get it because it's going to be gone in no time. Don't ask me why they're discontinuing it. I have no idea. So I picked up some pro colors. Um, this one is Yash. This one is one of my favorite, favorite nudes that MAC has. It's one of the most beautiful colors ever. I want to say if you're like a Honey Love fan or if you love Viva Glam too, like that, that, those types of colors, like this is totally up your alley. This is one of the best nudes that they carry. It's what I like to call a yellow people nude, but it looks good on everyone. <laughs> I also picked up Tavla, which is an amplified lipstick only sold at Pro. It's a lot like Photo. Um, Photo is a satin, I believe, but this one is a amplified finish. It's like Photo Met Paramount, if you will, because it has a little bit of a reddish undertone, but not quite. Um, but it's, it's just like a really pretty brown so I picked up one of those someone was like ooh that's like a doo-doo brown I said like, no it's not no it's not it's like cork lip liner ish type yeah mm -hmm. um and then I also picked up Mare Mare M-E-H-R I'm gonna show y'all because a lot of people are like how do you even say this word like when I'm in store they're like how do you say that um this is also a pro item only I think Yash is sold in select Mac stores but it's not sold in mine um so in my area a lot of a lot of these these are like pro colors um, this one is Mare. It's like sore in lipstick form. It looks a lot like Twig in my opinion. Hold on, let me see. I bought Twig too. Wait a minute. I bought Twig for my kit. So there's four colors that I got for my kit. The rest of them are for me. Um, Mare is that beautiful color if you're into like that sore pinkish lip a la sore. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and this one is Twig. Very, very similar. Twig is a little pinker in my opinion, but very, very, very similar. Um, so if you're into colors like that, there you go. So picked up Honey Love. I had one a long time ago and lost it. And for the longest time, almost every store in the world was like sold out. And I was like, what is the issue? Um, but Honey Love is a really beautiful color. It looks a lot like Yash. So I'm going to swatch them next to each other and see if y'all can tell the difference. Um, so it looks a lot like Yash, but it's slightly lighter. But it's in the same color family. Um, so they're very, very similar in tone. If you can't find one, get the other, you know, that kind of thing. But Honey Love is also a matte lipstick. It's one of the most beautiful nudes that I own. I was pissed when I lost it and have no idea where I lost it. Knowing me, I probably lost it at a gig. I don't know. Um, I plan on melting a ton of lipsticks into a palette because I'm getting really sick and tired of carrying certain ones. I usually have colors that kind of work for everything, but lately I want my MAC lipsticks all in one palette. Um, this one is Hot Tahiti. This one is one of our most popular colors, to be honest, and this one is that beautiful bright color right there it looks so pretty on people like if you just need like that soft wash of red to make it look like you know your client like been into a strawberry and the juice never came out this is that color for you it's so beautiful I also picked up media I don't know why I never owned this one I love every dark lipstick that Matt carries but for some reason I did not have media and I don't know why so that's media right there. It's just a beautiful vampy cut type of color, you know, kind of like sin and diva, like that sort of thing. But it is a um, satin finish, not a matte. So I like that. Not very drying, if you will. Uh, let me go through some of these matte colors. So I got D for danger. I don't even know where to swatch this anymore, so I'm going to do it on this side. <laughs> um, D for Danger is a really beautiful berry shade, like beautiful for fall. It's one of those perfect berry colors that look good on everybody. Um, if you have a teenager type of client that needs like, um, or even a teenager type of customer that, you know, is looking for like a red, but she doesn't want like a grown up red, this is perfect for that. Um, it's a really beautiful, very girly pinkish red, so... I'm a fan. I also picked up Dangerous, which is a lot like So Chod, but more subdued in my opinion. So Chod is very rich in my opinion. I feel like this one is a lot like it, but a little patchier. I have to admit, these new matte lip colors, some of them are amazing, and other ones are like, eh, you could be better. Um, this one is Dangerous, so for those who want like a orangey lip, but don't want it to be so intense, this is really good for that, so I still think it's a really beautiful color, but is it more subdued? Yeah. I also picked up Whirl, but I'm not going to swatch this because I cannot find my actual original. I have a backup of it, so I'm just going to show it to you because I have no idea where the original one is at. This one is a um, backup, so I'm not going to swatch this one, but Whirl is a, 
it's exactly how the lip liner looks, so I guess no surprise there. I also picked up Men Love Mystery, which is like a matte version of Up the Amp. Very beautiful. Let's watch that one as well. These are, this is the first time I'm swatching all of these for y'all, okay? Y'all special. Men Love Mystery is so, so beautiful. If you love like the lavender type of colors, that's the one, baby, that's the one. Of course I picked up Stone. I think I picked up two of these. <laughs> I don't know where the other one is, but I know I picked up two of these. Stone is of course exactly how it sounds. It's a very stone, very cool toned shade. Amaze Balls. I also have the lip liner, which I'm wearing today with Fresh Brew Lippy Stick. And then I also picked up Persistence, which is a lot like Taupe. So the only thing I don't like about this collection is I feel like they kept re-releasing colors that kind of like already existed, which was a little frustrating. Um, but I understand. I get it. This one looks a lot like Taupe, though. Like, I have to be honest. Like, side by side, you barely notice the difference. You're like, what was the point to that? Um, the good part is these are all permanent. So again, like I said, if you're looking for a color that you really, really loved and you just want like a notch lighter or a notch darker, then a lot of these colors are kind of, you know, for that, I guess you could say. Of course, I picked up Matte Royale. This one, ironically enough, came out just before the Warriors were winning. Um, and we were sold out because everybody wanted it for the Warriors game. Cray, cray. I've had people complain about this lip color, but personally, I've never had an issue. This is a really beautiful violet shade. I wouldn't call it a royal blue. I feel like it has hints of... It's more of a violet, in my opinion. Um, some people say it applies patchy, but I've never quite experienced that, to be honest. I feel like it applies just fine on me, but I don't know. Everybody lips are different. Antique Velvet is one of my personal favorites in the whole entire collection. This is like my Chola Brown. I love this color. That's like my Chola Brown. This color looks beautiful when it's on. Every time I wear it, someone's like, what is on your lips? I need to buy that. Myth is, I just needed a repurchase of this. Um, I always, always have Myth in my kit. Um, Myth is one of those nudes that um, leans slightly peachier, if you will. Um, but this one is really good at lightening anything. So if you need, um, like I was using Flesh Pot for a while, but it's just too concealer-ish. Um, Myth has that right undertone that is more fleshy in my opinion um so it is perfect like perfect when you need to like lighten something and it looks gorgeous on like every skin tone my god um it's one of those ah, it's one of those nudes that you could have in your kit that like look good on everybody but i usually use it as like a mixer color of some sort then i picked up creme in your coffee this one is mine <laughs> creme in your coffee cream in your coffee whatever you want to call it this is one of those beautiful sort of everyday type of colors. They look, it looks really good on hella people. Like every single time I have someone come in, it's, oh, I want a nude natural lip. This is usually the one that they go for. It's one of the most popular colors that we have. And then I also picked up three of the Huggables. I believe Huggables are permanent now. I want to say they are. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like they are. I usually know these things, but today I don't. <laughs> I picked a Dramatical. I love these, by the way. These are awesome so these are super super pigmented which i love um this one is called dramatical which is how sorry bad 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 swatch area i'm sorry um i love these they feel so so comfortable on the lips i do wish that they had more colors i have to be honest um but they came out with just the right amount like there's a color for everybody in my opinion um this one is called glamorize which duh pink one had to get it um this one is so pretty very like beautiful hot pink I got the red one for my mom, so I don't have that one right now, um, but she got the red one. I cannot remember what it's called. My favorite nude of the whole collection is called Soft Talkin', which is more of like a really pretty, almost peachier type of nude, and of course, I suck at swatching, but this is like, um, I don't know if you guys remember the Slim Shines back in the day. These are like the new versions of Slim Shines where they're like super comfortable on the lips. They wear a little bit longer than Slim Shines. Um, they have a natural gloss to them and they like, they call them huggables because they literally hug your lips and almost uh, boost the collagen in them. They're really, really beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that color right there. That's um, soft talking. Y'all still hanging with me? I know this video is hella long. <laughs> I picked up some um, pan, sh uh, not shadows, blushes. Wow, excuse me. I picked up the shaping powder and accentuate, which is, I don't know, there you go. You can kind of see it right there. It's like a peachier sort of highlight. Um, I really, really enjoy this one. Um, it makes me a little bit more cool tone though, which is good and bad, but I feel like the peachier undertone sort of highlights underneath in the right way. So I'm still a fan. I also picked up, um, because I'm doing a lot of uh, warmer skin tone clients these days, I picked up some darker blushes. 
So I picked up Fever, which is beautiful, beautiful on ebony skin. I'll just tell you that. Um, Raisin is amazing also on deeper skin tones for like that natural sort of peachy glow. So like what would be equivalent to like copper tone or, you know, gingerly on some of us, like Raisin is like beautiful on deeper skin tones. So I picked up those three. They're already in a palette, so just thought I'd show you that. I picked up another by Nine palette. I love these Times Nine palettes. These are awesome. I have the burgundy one already, and I picked up the purple. I don't have a lot of purple shadows, so I felt like this was just kind of essential to me, you know? <laughs> um, I love it in my kit also, so I love taking these on gigs as well. They just make things so much easier. You have no idea, like the smaller version of the palettes versus the bigger ones. Oh, so much easier to carry around, let me just tell you. Um, I picked up a bunch of... Um, I picked up a bunch of palettes, so obviously they come with the large palette that looks like the one that I just showed you guys, like the large, like single, um, but all the inserts that I got are all different, so I got another, I got a couple of the blush ones because I have all these empty blushes in like loose pan form, so I bought a bunch of those on backup just because I just, I keep building my blush collection and I bought more blushes. Meh. So this one is the Pro 12. This one I plan on using for a foundation. Um, I'm going to melt some full coverage foundations and stick them in here. I'll probably do a video when I do that. Um, but that one is for foundation. You can use any type of cream um, product and melt it into there and it works beautifully. So I love that, especially for my kit. Um, I've been meaning to do that for a really long time just to kind of consolidate a lot of the stuff I have. And then I picked up a 24 for lipsticks love it so I'll probably do a video when I depot all that and like melt them in there because I think that'll be super helpful I did buy some extra blushes you'll see them later um, I picked up every single color of these palettes these are the pro palettes um, the concealer ones sorry obviously they're pro palettes <laughs> get it together girl I picked up light medium medium deep and dark I believe anyway this is what the dark one looks like um, this one is the medium this one is medium deep and then this one is the light so these are so helpful in my kit you don't even know they're worth every single penny I know that some people compare them to the NYX ones I think but they're totally different in my opinion and part of the reason I got these for myself is because I know the MAC um, colors like like the back of my hand so I know all the NCs, NWs, W, and all that stuff. I'm very, very familiar with that. So personally for me, this was better. Um, these are, for me, I feel like on, in my kit, I need products that are reliable. You know what I mean? Products that I know always work, I know don't fail. Um, I hate using new products that I'm not too familiar with just yet. And that NYX one, although I love it and I think the concept is amazing, I have to be honest and say that I'm not quite sure if they would perform as well as these do in, on every single person. Because what I like about these and the way that I was trained to use them, these work on literally every single texture, every person, every type of blemish, every type of imperfection, you name it, it works. Um, the NYX ones I feel like have a much different, almost like a waxier texture. Maybe I'll do a comparison video, I don't know. Um, I never wanted to buy those because for me with, you know, obviously I know not everybody gets a discount, but you know, even as a pro member, if you're a makeup artist, like these are still like worth every penny compared to those and price wise, these are still just better in my opinion. I do love NYX, don't get me wrong, but the texture of these are just so much more buttery and easy to mix with and these are also the same formula as the MAC Full Coverage Foundation so I use these as foundations too so these for me are way more versatile and they work no matter what like I just feel like there's something it's a product that I can trust so maybe I'll do a review on these or how to use a video how to use them type of video I don't know something like that but those I love like I love those absolutely um, I picked up a new contour color because when I was doing the Raiderette photo shoot, I did a couple of deeper skin tones. Um, I picked up the one in um, NW58. This is an awesome, awesome contour for those of you who are deeper toned, um, anywhere from like NC45 and darker. It can even work on someone like me, which I'm like NC4042. Um, but I love this color. It's amazing for contouring. I need to pop it out of here because this casing is really irritating. But love that. Three new lashes. Well, not new per se, just replenishments on old ones. I always get 48s. I always get 35s. And I always get 7s. And I also get 36s, but I had just purchased those. So I got more of these guys. 
couple of each of them. Um, also at Pro, I picked up the Black Chroma Line. This is one of the best eyeliners I have tried to date. I really love my Inglot one. I still like Max Black Track, but this is way better than Max Black Track. So if you can get your hands on the Chroma Line, it's a bomb. It's a jam. Um, I really love the Inglot liner. That's the one that I have on today. It's usually the one I usually grab when I want my liner to be like extra black and I don't feel like using liquid. But this Chroma line, oh, this thing, it does not move. Like it's great for photo work or great for someone, like great for a wedding, that type of thing. Because I find that the Inglot one, although amazing, it can kind of crease on some people. Like I've tried it on some people and it like, not to say that it fails, but it's a little too creamy for them. So this one is just enough. Like it dries not super fast, but it dries to the point where like, you know, you can still work with it and then it dries and it sets and it doesn't move. I really love these chroma lines. They're awesome. So usually I use this one in my kit. I don't use this one on myself. This is the one that I use in my kit because I know that it works and it works on everybody that I've ever tried it on. Doesn't move and it looks amaze balls. I also picked up a new fluid line brow, a brow fluid line um, in True Brunette. This one is like a lighter. It kind of reminds me of the soft brown from Anastasia. Um, since I dyed my hair, some of the tones are like brownish. So sometimes when I want like more of a lighter appearance, I'll kind of fluff this in my brow a little bit. So far, so good. Usually I mix and match like brow gels and pomades and things like that when I'm doing, um, you know, freelance work. But I really enjoy this one because it's not as harsh as Deep Dark Brunette or Chocolate or um, Ebony or anything like that. So I really like this one as a mixer because I highlight like that's more helpful with those who um tend to have blonde that's like warmer rather than ashier okay and then at pro i also picked up the studio finish face powder in gold i love these these are so good um i really love max translucent powder but this gold powder oh my god i'm sure you guys can see a little bit of it in there it's so pretty oh my god like this over skin is just ah so gorgeous like spray a little fix plus dust this on there oh my god so pretty reflects the light amazing so I love 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 these I used to love the um those loose powders that Mac used to carry I can't remember what they're called but they had like silver dust um gold bronze or bronze or something like that I used to love those but they're discontinued hella mad um I love those they're amazing but you know they're harder to find these days and I'm not trying to hunt and uh you know that one is like an amazing highlight love 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 I also picked up a new pro long wear paint pot in quite natural this is what I love to contour with sometimes on people this is a really great cream contour and it doesn't move which I love it is a little bit harder to blend because it is a paint pot so keep in mind wherever you put it it's gonna stay right there honey boo boo but I really like this for that um I also like this on my deeper skin tone women for um that natural sort of coast the color on the lids that just sort of mattifies things a little bit um, it's a lot like soft ochre but obviously deeper um, it's a little bit uh, less shimmery than groundwork which I really like so I also like using that for uh, brows I used to use that for brows long 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 time ago it's one of the first products that I ever tried on my brows I wasn't a huge fan of it but it worked and it was really nice so there you go okay I also picked up the Giga Black. You guys know that I mentioned this in my favorites. This is the Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, MAC mascara ever in life. Matter of fact, let me put a little bit of this baby on. I forgot to put some lower mascara today. I love this stuff. If you need like a nice slim brush, this is the one. Like, I love, love this mascara. It's so, so good. So good it's meant to be defining so it sort of stretches out the lashes a lot it like holds them it's a tubing mascara if you will um, so I love that it adds a lot of length and definition and it's a very nice slim one so it's perfect for those of you who get mascara all over your eyelids or if you want one for your lower lashes this is the bomb try it you won't regret it Whew. Okay, so this is all the blushes that I was talking about. So I picked up um, Just a Whisk, which you've seen, well, some people, if you keep up with my Instagram, you've seen it on my Instagram. Um, I've used it as a highlight. So it's a really beautiful, um, really pale pink type of highlight. I have it on my cheekbones right now and down my nose. I love this highlight. It's super pretty when I'm just sort of bored of like the champagne-ish type of highlight and I just need some, something a little more uh, cool toned, if you will. Sometimes soft and gentle is still not warm, but you know, even though it's icier, it's still, um, it leans very pinkish. This one is almost like a pinkish lavender, so it's a little bit lighter. It looks really pretty when you have like a smoky eye or like a cool tone look happening. I like that for that. I also picked up Pinch of Peach. Pinch of Peach is um, an oldie but goodie. This one was brought back into the line along with Pink Swoon. So this one is a really, really beautiful, beautiful peachy pink color. 
it looks good on everyone. Um, it looks so good on, like, yeah, like every single skin tone. I've had people come in and they're like, oh my god, I'm out of it. What am I going to do? And it's just, it's just a perfect color. So really good for bridal work also. I also picked up Devil, which is a really beautiful orangey color. And I also got Swiss Chocolate, which is one of my favorites. Love, love, love. And then I had to get Sketch. I also have Film Noir, but that one I got in gratis, so it comes in a casing. So all of these I got in singles. I might pop it out just because I want them all to be together. But I really, really love these Extra Dimension Shadows, so I'm just going to kind of go through the colors quickly of all the ones that I got. These are all permanent, by the way, so, you know. Um, this one is called Fathoms Deep. This one I think was a re-promote, so I really, really love this one. It's so gorgeous. Um, this one looks a lot like the shadow that I have on now, um, but just more gray. <laughs> this one I think was a re-promote. I feel like it was because I feel like I've seen it before. Um, this one is Legendary Lore, which I know for sure is a re-promote because I wanted this last time. So I'm glad I was able to get it this time. This one is a really beautiful sort of greenish, um, darker green type of shade. like Kind of like Night Divine, but on steroids. <laughs> and these you can of course use wet or dry, so I really enjoy these. And this one is Grand Galaxy, which is a little bit more purple than the first one I showed you. I just love how metallic these are. Like, these catch the light so beautifully. Like, ah, I love. This one is Sweet Heat, another favorite. I love this one as a highlight or just as a pop on the lid. Oh, so gorgeous. <sighs> I love that one. This one is so, so beautiful. So beautiful. This one, and then I got Smoky Mauve. This one, I want to like depot all of these, but I feel like I'll screw them up, so I might not. <laughs> I might leave them in there. Um, this one is Smoky Mauve, really pretty. This one is pretty as a blush and a highlight too. Um, it reminds me a lot of a mineralized shadow that came out during holiday. This one is Ready to Party, which we like did not get very much of this one. It is a really beautiful opalescent shade like an opalescent lavender also really pretty as a highlight so gorge then I got Havana which is so beautiful on its own like this one looks really good just sort of washed across the lid this one's Havana really good too if you want like that sort of chocolate brown kind of smoky eye then you want it to be more evening like and not so bland that's a really good one and then I got evening gray and I just wanted this one for the silver. Um, there's something about the silver that kind of caught my eye. It's a little bit icy. It's a little bit bluish. It's a little bit greenish. Almost like um, a really, 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 really light Tiffany blue. But not quite. Um, so it has hints of blue in that one. But this one, it just it just glistens really, really pretty. So it's really beautiful, literally, for evening. Um, or for something nighttime. So these are all the ones that I got from An Extra Dimension. These are permanent, so don't freak out. It's another reason why I didn't get all the colors, because I know that if I wanted them again, I could get them. Um, but these are the ones that I wanted the most, because they're the ones that stood out to me the most. Um, I didn't get a chance to get these before in the past, so I never owned one, and I was very excited to get these. I love these to death. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my core collection haul. Um, if you guys want to see a limited edition haul, let me know. Only reason I didn't want to post it because I felt like it was kind of unfair you know it has like all the fixed pluses the dazzle shadows wash and dry um stuff like that that most people can't get anymore but if you guys want to see it let me know because I know some people you know are able to find it elsewhere you never know um so if you guys want to see that haul y'all let me know um otherwise this video is hella long and we need to stop like right now um but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys later bye